everyone, I'm Jacob Warren, and this is the Warren Micro Tech Blog. Today's episode is episode number two, and this one's, um, what is antivirus? And now, I know that's uh, kind of a simple term that everybody kind of hears now and then, but what is an antivirus? Antivirus, or AB software, is a computer software used to prevent and detect and remove, uh, and remove malicious uh, computer viruses. Most, most software described as antivirus also works against other types of malware such as browser hijackers, uh, ransomware, backdoors, rootkits, Trojan horses, worms, malicious uh, malware, um, adware, spyware, and other fraud tools that are in existence. But, you know, one of the things that a lot of people end up talking about is, you know, why might somebody even create a virus in the first place? Why did they come into an existence? Um, the answer to that is actually something very simple that's, you know, it's similar to why do people commit theft? Um, a lot of viruses that are out there are um, created to take control of your system or against your knowledge, um, or even sometimes they're even created to do it with your knowledge. They're also created to generate money, um, to steal your private data such as credit card numbers, uh, personal account information, um, other and a whole bunch of other data related things that can basically collect information that they can help steal your identity or sell it to other criminal type minds and uh, essentially just to wreak havoc as well. A lot of viruses are created to cripple networks or computers um, just to be malicious. I mean, it's the same thing. Why do people commit other crimes in there? And so where there is a mass of people, there's going to be some type of criminal mindset that's going to come into play. And unfortunately, uh, in the computer world, that's what a lot of these viruses are intended for. It's just to be malicious. Um, installing a good antivirus is one of the things that you can do in order to help prevent these malicious people from affecting your system. Um, it's not the only thing that you can do, but finding a good antivirus solution that will scan your system on a routine basis, perform software updates where it's updating its tool set of um, how it's able to detect new viruses and new malicious software that's coming out is a key to having you know good protection overall. There are a lot of antivirus applications that are out there. There's things like AVG, uh, Symantec has one, uh, McAfee, which I believe is now purchased from Intel. Uh, there are a multitude of antiviruses out there. You really need to take the time and look up some reviews on them and do your research. Um, our company provides one, but that's totally separate from this. Um, we do a more of a managed approach where we essentially we take all the information that the antivirus program does and we're able to kind of monitor that and, and give some good input on that. Um, but overall, you can find free antivirus applications and you can find paid for applications. The big things you want to look at is how does it affect your system after it's installed. Some of them are kind of bulky where your system will slow down a lot. Um, others uh, are really efficient of how they operate and they're also efficient at, at detecting issues that are uh, new, new vulnerabilities that come out. Especially with the Windows XP coming to end of life, it's going to be more and more critical. Well, it's not going to be. It is more and more critical that you protect your system. You wouldn't go outside um, and walk down a dark alley in the middle of the night when there's a whole bunch of dark characters down there where they're, you know, you don't know what's going on. I mean, take those same precautions when you're online. You, if, the same way that you wouldn't walk down an alley at midnight 
on, you know, in the back streets of somewhere you're unfamiliar with, when you download stuff online, know what where the information is coming from. Um, you want to be able to trust that source. And even if you can't, a lot of antivirus tools are very efficient at scanning files. Of, and it's not... And it's not dependent on if they're, you know, a particular file type. So if you have zip files, if you have um, photos, Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint presentations, videos, a great majority of your good antivirus tools are going to be able to sift through the data bits that make up that application and remove the viruses or detect them to know to give you a response to or an alert to know that hey don't open this application don't open this file because it's infected with some type of virus or malicious application now it's important to know antivirus is a step security overall is a series of steps that you're going to go through no antivirus is perfect um, no antivirus can remove 100% every known um, and unknown malicious software that's created or going to be created. You need to use precautions and go through and do it. it you go through the steps of scanning a file, making sure you know that where the source is. is um, and just making sure to use common sense when using your technology system. There are good tools that are expensive and there are good tools that are inexpensive, but they're only as good as you use them. If, just like if you were to ride a bike, a helmet can only protect you if you wear it. So antivirus software is that. Um, as users of a computer system, it's always important to, when you're sending files to other people, scan them and don't just forward on something that you don't know where it comes from. If you're worried about it, delete it, get rid of it. Uh, overall, technology is great to use. Don't look at the possibility of thousands upon thousands of viruses out there as a way to fear you into not using different things and that's n at no way what what this video or you know this information is meant to do it's just meant to make you aware and remind you that you know it's you need to take precautions when you're online but um yeah so just a quick recap there's a lot of viruses out there use precautions and enjoy the technology and the innovations that are out in this world. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. This is our second episode. I know it's still I'm still learning how to communicate in front of a camera and I appreciate your patience and I really want to hear ideas that you guys have for future videos. Uh, I'll get better and, I, and I'm and i really excited of kind of the next videos that I have lined up that I would like to do but you guys are the community that makes up whether um, whether the information is worth anything so please email me your ideas or thoughts or critique or comment on the YouTube channel on what you think of these videos or what you would like to see in the future you can always reach me at blog at warnmicro.com you can also uh, reach me on Twitter my Twitter uh, name is Warren Jacob you can also uh, at reply to Warren Micro either one of those I'll be able to respond to you and, and uh, hopefully go over the input that you have and hopefully make the adjustments to get better at this. And um, We also have a Facebook fan page. You can go to uh, Facebook, look up Warm Micro, or you go to our main website and it will link to that. But thank you so much for taking that time to watch this. Um, 
and I really look forward to getting your input for future episodes. But most of all, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to the future together.